Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zautus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a website with Odoo Website Builder. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go to Odoo's official website, which is going to be Odoo.com. Now, usually for you to create a website here, you need to have or create or you need to create your account here. So usually at the top right, you should see a sign in or sign up button. So go ahead and click on it and create your free account. So you don't have to pay for anything to create your account. But once you've created your account here, what we need to do is we need to access the actual website builder. So it's going to be under apps here. So at the very top here, you want to go to apps and you want to go to websites and you want to go to website builder. Now it should direct you to this, page, to this page here. And what we need to do is you just need to click on the start now. It's free option. Now, once you click on it, it should ask you a few information about yourself. So that includes your first name, last name, email, and some information about yourself. So in this case, just provide all the necessary information here. Now, once you click on start now, it should welcome you to auto. So it's going to say wonderful platform. You will need to transfer all your activities and all those pop ups here. But in this case, what you need to do is you just need to basically start creating it. So let's go and click on let's do it. So the great thing about Auto here is they do everything for you here. So you won't have to uh, think about anything else, just the fundamental details about your website. So in this case, maybe I want to create a, a blog. So I want to create a blog for my, so let's just say this is going to be my e-commerce website. And from here, what's the objective, main objective of my website here? So maybe I want to basically get some leads. Now we could go and choose your color palette here. So maybe I like this color here. Now you could also add some pages and features here. So in this case, not only you have like a blog here, you can add an about us services and pricing section here as well if you want to add them but for now let's just focus on one feature here let's go and click on build my website now once you've done that it should ask you to choose your favorite team here now let's go ahead and click on view more teams here to view more of the teams that we could choose from and it should show you a lot of teams here so for example maybe i want to get this one let's go and click on this team here that's going to start building your website here. Now, like what I said before, using Odo here to build your website is fairly, fairly easy because they won't hassle you with all the, that information. You just need to have the fundamentals and basically just the name of your website and some designs that you prefer and colors you prefer for your business or your website. But yeah, so once your website has been created here, it should be able or you should be able to start editing it. So this case let's just wait for it to basically finish so my website has now loaded and this is the first thing that you'll see which is your actual website now in this case you could basically see a few things here like minor details here for our website and uh, pre-filled information here now you have two options here that, that you can actually build your website on so you have a new option which allows you to add new content to your website now, if you want to edit your website first, you can also click on edit. So in this case, if you click on new here, you'll have the option to create a new page, a new blog post, an event, some products, job position, and a lot more. So depending on what you want to add to your website. Now, if you choose edit here, this allows you to actually edit the existing information that you see on your website. Now, the great thing about Odoo here is the information or everything that you see here can be moved. As you can see right now, I can move this image here into this blocks here that you see, which is going to be the guides that we can use whenever we're building our website. Now, clicking one of the text here, you can basically change the text if you want to. Now, for example, if you want to say hello here instead, you can go ahead and just type in whatever you want, which is fairly easy. Now, if you click one of the elements here, for example, if you click on the button here, you also have the option to change the text itself. But the great thing about this one, not only you can change the text on that button, you can even customize the actual button. So you have the text image here, what it's going to look like, the column, the animation if you want to add them, and inline text if you want to edit those. Now in this case, uh, you could go and click on whatever element here and you can change the specific elements here depending on what you want to uh, see. 
So for example, if you change, uh, click on the image here, you have the option to uh, change the actual image itself. You have the shape, the description for it, the tooltip, the transformation, some filters if you want to add them, and the format and quality and size. Now, in this case, if you want to add new sections here, you could go to blocks here and basically either add like a column, content, image, people, contact and form. So anything that you want to add as an addition to your website, this is where you'll be able to add them. So for example, maybe I want to add a social media section. So in this case, you could, let's go ahead and press and hold at it and you can just basically add them in here, which is a drag and drop features, a uh, feature which in this case, you go and click on the uh, setup section here. Click here to set up. So in this case, whenever you click on it, again, you have the option to customize it and basically add the links or social networks for your accounts. So you add like the page for your business here for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, GitHub, or even TikTok. Now you could also click on the add new social network here if you have more and basically delete them. Now you also have the option to enable them if you want to. You have the option to disable them if you want to. And uh, yeah, so customizing it is uh, quite easy here because it is actually from a drag and drop, drag, drag and drop uh, option or uh, format here. So you'll, you won't have to worry about it. But learning the properties and what you can customize here is quite qu complicated. Because depending on what element that you're customizing here, you'll have a bunch of options for each element. But yeah, I would suggest you to first try exploring what you can add and what are the features that you could customize here. But in this case, that's how you start or create your website here in Odo. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.